It has been a very long time since I've seen condom wrappers in my house. Until now. Ma, I don't even use condoms. Savon, this has nothing to do with you because I actually found this in Brian and Genesis' room. First of all, mama, it is still my room. Genesis is just pest that I cannot control. Second, that is not mine. Well, if it doesn't belong to you, then it means it belongs to Genesis. Auntie, I would never disrespect your house like that. I wouldn't even have time to do anything like that in Brian's room without being caught. Me either. Ever since you forced yourself into my room, I have not been able to have any privacy. Privacy for fucking what? Just general privacy. Privacy for what? Cut the shit, Brian. I know that little boyfriend of yours has been in my house every other night. Even if that were true, I wouldn't be dumb enough to leave a condom wrapper in plain sight. But you're dumb enough to sneak a boy in. Why were you in my room anyway, mama? I didn't know I needed permission to enter any room in a house that I pay mortgage you in. You technically don't pay the mortgage. Travis does. Brian LaShawn Jackson, that mouth of yours has become a problem. It's a problem because my mom has become toxic. Ma, can I use the car? <laughs> I'm toxic because I'm getting in your ass about shit. You still have a problem with me being gay. Oh, you love pulling that pathetic ass car. I don't care nothing about you being gay. I have a problem with you having underage sex in my house. You don't have no proof, mama. Genesis is the one who told me that you'd be sneaking a boy in my house every other night. So whoever this little boy is, I want you to bring him to my house with his parents so I can tell them what I found in your room. And then I can tell them where he's at every other night. I'm not doing that. You will, or I'll go up to your school and find him myself. You know, at first, I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off. Getting a condom, taking the condom out of the package, leaving the package on the floor for your mom to find, getting her to believe that it was yours and not mine. I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off, but I did. Genesis, do you, do you got a death wish? Shut up, Savon, before I tell your mama you've been selling drugs out of her house. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You have no idea who you're fucking with. Then show me. Okay. Kyrie! All right, boys, I got y'all support cards. Um, who's first? Brian. All ace, as expected. Let's read some of the teacher's comments. Mrs. Jackson, you are raising one intelligent human being. Brian is smart, brilliant, and his future looks promising. I don't have any students who have a four-year scholarship to Harvard in my class, so I am honored to have Brian in my class. You know, I have always been proud to be your mama. Auntie, I think it should be getting my report cards now. I did switch over to my guardian. Let's see. Yep, Genesis. Here we go. All A's and one B. Mm -mm, how disappointing. Genesis, this class you have a B in. Talk to me about it. It's a college class. They only offer it to students who've passed their stellar exam during their sophomore year in high school. I believe Brian took the same exam, but what were your test results again? It's a college class. Me and 10 other students didn't pass. It was an exam, not a class and how unfortunate that you failed that exam. I passed with flying colors though. Aunt Tamika, that is a very challenging class. To have anything under a C could get you removed. So for me to have a B in that type of class, 
the same type of class that they offer at schools like Harvard is amazing. Would you mind reading my teacher's comments on Tamika? Mrs. Jackson, Genesis is a very well-educated student of mine who I highly recommend it to five major colleges due to his extremely high test scores in my class. Most students who take my class average a C or C minus. Genesis has maintained a B for the past semester, making his score the highest in my class. He is definitely going places. Hey, that's my nephew. I could have passed that class, and yet you did not. I still have a four-year scholarship to a college that doesn't even know you exist. And yet all my teachers recommended me to not just Harvard, but four other top colleges in the United States. Mm -hmm. Great. Did you get a phone call back? Did you get a letter in the mail? Is it official? I have not yet, but I will. This conversation has expired. Mom, can you read my little brother's report card? Boys, you both are doing great in school. Keep up the good work. All right, Kyrie, there are no scores. It, there's a comment though, it says, Mrs. Jackson, Kyrie's scores were so low that I was embarrassed to email them to you. Please stop by my office so we can further discuss. Kyrie, what the fuck is the issue? Why, why are you cussing at me? School is not for me, I wanna drop out. So damn bad. What do you need from me as a mother to get you back on track? Because 20 parent-teacher conferences in one damn year is insane. So withdraw me. You don't like seeing these teachers? Neither do I. Where did I go wrong with you? Find out where grandma went wrong with you, and then you'll find out where you went wrong with me. You know what it is? I don't beat your ass enough. That's what it is. You want to be like your older brother? You want to be a high school dropout? One kid, no job, no pot to piss in. Yes, mama, I want to be just like Siobhan. How about you homeschool me? I'm tired, mama. I don't want to be in school. I hate everyone there. You are not there for everybody, Kyrie. You are there to get your damn high school diploma. We have got to figure something out because I am tired. That is enough. You are in your sophomore year in high school and you have not progressed. Remove me from school. That is out of the question. Well, then you're going to continue to stress about my performance in school because it's about to get worse. Jesus, I know I have not lost control of my child. No, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I'll tell you what, when Travis gets home, me and him are going to discuss what we're going to do with you. Because that is enough. Ma, Travis is a damn kid himself. And you're old enough to be his mama. So don't be going to talk to one of your other kids about me. Mama, how long is Genesis staying with us? Brian, I am actually in the process of becoming Genesis's legal guardian, so he will be here for a while. I need to make a phone call. Is there a problem? Is it? I'm asking you. Just stay the fuck out of my way or you'll end up like the last cousin that stayed here. Brian, I know you're used to thinking you're the smartest grandchild out of all of us. That must have been hard for you to admit. While I'm in your house, I'm going to make sure I humble you every chance I get. Spell humble. How about you look deep within yourself and find it first before you ask somebody how to spell it? You know what I can find deep down inside me? My parents, who are very much still alive and breathing. And that was just a small taste of how disrespectful I can get. So during the duration of your stay, watch your fucking mouth. And don't you ever try to compete with me in front of my mom. Kyrie, get your shit together. Mind your motherfucking business.
So there was an altercation between the two of you that apparently... Vanessa, who exactly told you that you were in charge of this conversation in my house? Does it matter who opens the discussion, Tamika? I invited you and your daughter into my home to discuss this matter between her and Savon. So let's discuss. I am not ready to speak yet. I am still collecting my thoughts. So shut up. Girl, not you still holding on to that little tussle we got into three years ago. Little tussle. Beloved. I injured you. You went to the ER for that neck. That neck that still looks stiff today. Okay. How about you let bygones be bygones? Do I look like I'm the type of bitch to let a bye be gone? Ma, y'all forgetting why we're here. You know what? I was trying to come here and not automatically point the finger. But since you want to be ignorant, you want to tell me why your son put his hands on my daughter? Miss Vanessa, that's not what happened. That is how it happened, Savon. How did I end up from one side of the room to the other? How did I end up with a busted lip? I need to know why it happened, Savon. No, what I need to know is why from the both of you. What started this? Go ahead and tell them. It doesn't matter what started it. Savon, you put your hands on my daughter. Your daughter put her hands on my son. She was defending herself. He was defending himself. Versace, did he hit you first? Yes, he did. No, I didn't. She knocked my phone out of my hand and then she choked me, Mama. I wouldn't lie to you. Mama, I wouldn't lie to you. He hit me, so I hit him back. Describe how he hits you and how it made you fly across the room. You know what? I do not like the way you are questioning my daughter right now, Tamika. Oh, I don't give a fuck. How did he make you fly across the room, Versace? By him hitting me. No man should hit a woman, Tamika. No woman should hit a man. Except he hit me first. No, I didn't. I wouldn't give you my phone. And what was on the phone, Savon? None of your business. Who swung first? She did. He did. Savon, my daughter would not lie to me. Vanessa, you finna piss me off. Versace has fake pregnancies, DNA tests, and eyelashes. Okay, and your son is no damn better. He ain't the worst either. You know what? How could you as a black woman stand there with a black son and tell me and my black daughter that her assault does not matter? Oh, I ain't trying to hear all that black shit. This ain't no BET movie, bitch. Start from the beginning, Versace. He was on his phone texting, and I knew it was another bitch, so I asked for his phone. Okay. Savon, what did you do when she asked for your phone? I ignored her. Oh. And that must have pissed you off, Versace, because how dare he? Right, because I knew he heard me the first time when I asked. So, uh, what happened next? I asked for it again, and he got mad. And then what did he do? He put his hands on me. You lying bitch. Savon, you better watch your damn mouth. Vanessa, I will eat you up right now. Well, bone appetite, bitch. Mom. Mom. Versace press charges. I'm good. Um, I think Savon learned his lesson. Hmm, very safe decision, Versace. Press charges, Savon. I'm, I'm actually good, Mama. Okay. <sighs> I'm leaving. So y'all want to fuck each other up, make it everybody else's problem, and then get back together? It's very much toxic behavior and I don't have time for it. Get it the fuck away from me. Shit and me. You wanna grab a drink? I guess not. Travis, I need you and the boys to click. And I've been thinking about ways to make that happen. So, a family trip to Six Flags might do the trick. We could try it. Okay. Boys!
Good morning. Good morning from the three of us. Oh, so your brothers can't speak for themselves? No, I will be speaking for the three of us. Okay. Well, I'd like all of us to go on a family trip. Me and your mother were thinking about taking y'all to Six Flags. We thank you for the invitation, but we will have to politely decline. And why is that? Because, Mother, we simply don't have the desire to go. Well, y'all don't have a damn choice. Y'all are going. Mom, did you forget that me and Kyrie are still in high school and can't afford to miss any school? I mean, it just started. This will be happening next weekend. <clears throat> <clears throat> next weekend, we will be at our father's house spending time with him and Karen. Hey, baby. It's okay. They'll come around eventually. You know what? Y'all are not going to your father's house next weekend. Y'all will be spending time with me and Travis. Mom, if you are forcing us to go, then we will. But as stated earlier, we do not have the desire to go. So we will be silent the entire trip. Get the door or get one of your other brothers to do it. <laughs> I'll get it. Why are y'all here? Trust me, I didn't want to come. Then why the fuck did you? Because Tara was driving. I had no choice. Well, you have one right now. Turn your ass around and leave the way you came in. Tamika, we haven't spoken to you in months. So fucking what? We have gone years without speaking. It didn't bother you then. You haven't even had the decency to call and check on mama. She hasn't been much of a decent mother, so why would I be a decent daughter? But you know what? <laughs> Humor me. How is your mother's health? The chemo appears to be working. And you know this because you've gone to each and every appointment with her and held her hand through the process, or that's just what she calls and tells that's you. That's what she calls and tells us, and I believe her. No okay. game. Tamika, stop. I am also here because Brian has been telling me that your little boyfriend, who is five years younger than you, has been really ugly to them. The boys have been disrespectful towards me and I made the mistake of arguing back with them. I'm not innocent, but I've already been addressed. Not that that was any of your business. My sister and her kids are my business. And my responsibility. So you and the other one can leave. My name is Tanya. Oh, I didn't ask what your name was. Tara, you and Tanya can get the hell out of my house now. You know what I will. I really only came to check on my nephews, you know, since you're out here choosing men over them. Better than me choosing men who choose my daughter every time. That was low. I can go lower if you'd like. <laughs> And for the record, I will never choose no damn man over my kids on any day of the week. They're just not used to seeing me with a man. No, they're used to seeing me yelling at them for every single fuck up they make. So don't you ever try to charge me up about what goes on in my damn house. I wasn't trying to charge you up. You couldn't, even if you had a damn plug. Now get out. Okay, because what did they think they was going to come up here and do? Right. We'll go to Six Flags. <laughs> Y'all had no choice in the matter. But I'm glad you came to your senses for your brothers. Now get the fuck out of my kitchen. All three of y'all. Hey, Auntie, I was wondering if it was possible to share a room with one of the boys. Is there something wrong with the couch upstairs? Oh, it's, it's just slightly uncomfortable. You know, 
hurts my back sometimes. But Auntie, I'm very much grateful and I don't mean to complain. No, it's fine. I know that couch can be quite uncomfortable. Kyrie still has his bunk beds in his room, so I'm sure he won't mind. Well, I thought that maybe me and Brian can share a room because we are the same age. But then again, I don't want to mess up what he has going on every other night. What does he have going on every night? Oh, his boyfriend? He sneaks in every other night. What fucking boyfriend? Oh, Auntie, I don't think I was supposed to tell you. I'm sorry. But please don't tell him I told you. That'll just make him hate me more. You know what? I think you and Brian sharing the room is a great idea. Brian! Mama, why do you be yelling? It is so unnecessary. You are not outside. You and Genesis will be sharing a room. The hell we are! Who the fuck are you talking to like that, Brian? I will knock your head off your shoulders! <sighs> <laughs> Where is he gonna sleep, Mama? Y'all are cousins, so you will share the bed. Uh, Kyrie has a bunk bed. It would make more sense for him to sleep in his room. I'm about to get rid of Kyrie's bunk bed and buy him a single bed. Now, like I said, you and Genesis will be sharing a room. Was there anything else? I don't know. Was there? I don't know. You tell me. You called me down here. Ryan, don't get fucked up. Don't get fucked up. Go upstairs and make space for your new roommate. <sighs> okay, mama. From now on, you will be my eyes and my ears. Yes, ma'am. Now, I could have sworn I locked my doors. Brian let us in. Of course he did. Now let yourselves out. Mika. Genesis, go upstairs for a minute. Yes, ma'am. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Auntie. Why are y'all here? Gabriella's death was devastating. I haven't had time to process it, you know? It happened so fast, and she wasn't my blood sister, but she was my sister. Like I said, everything happened so fast, and I just found out that, you know, she made you Genesis's legal guardian. So my question is, how long do you plan on keeping him? And what all did she put you in charge of? Why do you care? Your stepdaughter, you know, the one that just died and you didn't come to her funeral, she told me that if anything happened to her, that he was mine. So I'm keeping him forever. <sighs> That's fine. I don't care about all that. Where's the money she left for him? Mama, that is not why we are here. <laughs> See, I'm not stupid. I knew that you or somebody else was going to come after that money. That money is in an account that only Genesis will have access to when he turns 18. Oh, I can tell that pissed you off. You weren't expecting that. <laughs> How's your cancer? She was my damn stepdaughter, so I'm gonna need some of that damn money. Tammy, Gabriella hasn't liked you since her father, your eighth husband, died of natural causes, which is why she didn't leave Genesis with you and left him with me, because she didn't trust your trifling ass to do the right thing with that money. Tamika, you out of all people should know I don't play by my money. Now that's $300,000 that you better go get for me. Or what? Damn it, Tamika, don't make me do something that I'm going to regret. Do what you gotta do, Tammy, but calm down. Don't upset that cancer. Uh, both of you, please stop. I need that money. You know what? I'm starting to wonder if anybody has actually asked you this, but what type of cancer do you have? A daughter. Named Tamika. Oh, oh, well, you're going to have it a long time because there is no amount of chemo in the world that can get rid of me. Tamika, I'll take Genesis off your hands. Tanya, shut up. And what are you even doing here? What you going to do with a 17-year-old boy? 
I already have one, so I know what I'm doing. Genesis is fine, and he ain't going nowhere. Thank you. Let me have him. Why? What you gonna do with him? Tell me why. Exactly. Shut up. Give me my child. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> what in the Talapuri is going on? You remember when you didn't see me for nine months? I wasn't ready to be a mother. And Gabriella, she couldn't get pregnant. She got a family, a husband. So I let her have him. Mm. Well, you made the right choice, giving him up because you clearly are not fit to be anyone's mother. And Genesis is 17. So 17 years ago when you had him, that was around the time that you slept with my ex-husband. Tanya, if I found out that you and my ex-husband have a child together, you will cease to exist. I just want my son. You ain't getting a damn thing. You will have to take me to court. And even then, you don't stand a chance, bitch. And you, you ain't getting no damn money. It ain't up to you. Oh, but it is. I'm his legal guardian. And I think both of you are starting to forget that. Don't shit move with him unless I say so. I ain't got to do shit. He's mine. Mine. Well, I'm his mother. Spell it. Go spell it. Mother. M-O-T-H-O-R. <clears throat> Get out. Tamika, this isn't over. I'm coming for my child. Spell it. Child. C-H-I-L-E-D. Oh, this is great. I want you to act just like this in court. Dumb. Tanya, you bring your dumb ass. Tamika, this isn't over. Y'all should really call before y'all come next time. <coughs> mm. Now that we're all gathered here today, I have some news I'd like to share. Well, before you do that, Mama, we all would just like to apologize to you. Who is we? Mama, we have been so selfish. And we completely forgot that you went through so much to keep a roof over our heads. Did she? You have done the best you could. And for that, we appreciate you. Ma, I don't know that much about cancer, but I know that we're all in this with you and we're going to get through this. Oh, my babies. I love y'all. Oh, Tamika, you said you had something you wanted to share. I went to mama's doctor the other day to, you know, find out what exactly was said because I had some questions, comments, and concerns. And, of course, he couldn't share anything because of doctor-patient confidentiality. But what he did say was that mama had lumps and they were all benign. Yeah. So, Mama, what was your goal here? Did you think you were going to get some sympathy from us? Let me get this straight. You went to Mama's doctor after she told us she had cancer? Yes. You have to be the most fucked up individual I have ever met, Tamika. What? Tamika, Mama is dying. And instead of you coming together with us, you want to be a hateful bitch and embarrass her? <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. This must already be hard for mama. And here you go trying to make it worse for her. Sis, who hurt you? Who hurt her? Hmm. 
It could be the lies she has told us about mama's ex-husband Earl coming on to her when really she was coming on to him. Now, Terry, I have let that go. I know, Mama, but Tamika has put you through a lot. Tara, you're going to sit there and let this man who is married to an overweight, endangered species say that to me? Hey, my wife may be out of shape, but at least she's happy, unlike you. <laughs> when your husband is feeding you 10 to 15 meals a day and wiping your ass because you can't reach past your belly button... I'd be happy too. Really, Tamika? You are the oldest. And you need to be trying to figure out a way to make this easier for mama. But instead, you're over here arguing with Terry. What is happening right now? I believe your siblings are starting to see past your bullshit, Tamika. Now, I don't know who Banan is, but that bitch is lying. I have titty cancer. Ugh, it is an insult to people who actually have cancer. I hate that. I hate that you have to result this low for some damn sympathy, money, or whatever you're after. Prove it, prove that you have cancer. <gasps> Mama! <gasps> nice try, Mama. But you've always been bald-headed. Your hair has never been able to grow past an inch. Those naps have been there since Martin Luther King, not because of some fake-ass cancer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mama is full of shit, and y'all know that. Well, I dropped dead. I hope it brings you the peace you need, Tamika. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Asshole. Bitch. Miserable bitch. I am so disappointed in you, Tamika. Don't come around when something does happen to mama. And don't call us for updates. We're done with you. Consider yourself an only child. So, Kendrick, you said you were in the military? Yeah. I did two years. And I retired as an E7. Kendrick, your ass ain't retired as no E7. You said you only did two years? So that means that ass ain't even made it to first class yet. Brian, please. The adults are talking. My grandma says you didn't even pass your ASVAB test. <laughs> Tammy didn't even finish high school. I'm surprised she even knows what an ASVAB test is. I want to see you say that to her face next time you see her. Okay, I will. I will. Anyway, it's beautiful. Why do you call yourself Versace? Because I love the brand Versace. But cannot afford the brand Versace. You know, I actually own a couple products from Versace. Did you fully purchase them or did you finance them in one of our aunties or uncle's name? I'd like to see some. Okay. Um, let me text you my um, website and you can make a purchase from there. Kendrick, you are a fucking fraud. Hey, 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 Brian Jackson, watch your mouth. Ma, Kendrick is in here trying to scam Versace. Cousin, you know I own an online boutique. You seem to own a lot of things that are not in your name. What's going on, family? What's up, Brian? What's up, Ma? What's up, uh, what's your name? I think I got you pregnant. And never mind, it's not important. What's up, mama? Savon, is that something I can help you with? No, life's great. I'm living with Grandma Pam and I'm making so much money. I actually came here because I have to help you with something. Uh, Brian, is this the scammer you were telling me about? Yes, he's the fraud. My name is Kendrick and I'm your older cousin. It's nice to meet you, Savon. Mm. Mama, what all do you know about this failed replacement of mine? He helps pay bills. 
He helps out around the house. Besides all that weak ass shit, what else do you know about him? Saman, I don't know why you are here, but you know where you're at and who you're talking to. So start watching your damn mouth. How about you start watching who you bring into your house, Tamika? I've been doing that, which is exactly why your ass is no longer here. Now get your ass out of my house. Oh, well, speaking of your house, I thought that you should know that there's a house on Airbnb that looks mighty similar to this one. What the hell are you talking about, Savon? The host? His name is Kendrick. And this Kendrick. And the reviews that he has states that he cancels reservations before the check-in date. Kendrick, what the hell is this? Uh, it's a way for me and you to make some money, cousin. Kendrick, I don't want to hear that shit. Why the hell is my damn house on Airbnb? Uh, cousin, it's a good business venture. And I was going to give you 20% of whatever I made. 20? Oh, you done lost your damn... Get your ass out of my house! <laughs> you know, you were always my favorite cousin. The law states that you have to give a tenant 30 days before you evict them. Oh, mama just gave me the word and I would drag his ass out of here. Yes, mama, please. Can we put our hands on him? I got this. Kendrick, I should have saw your scamming ass coming from a mile away. But because your daddy died, I felt sorry for you, which is why I took you in. But you know what? He would be so disappointed in you right now. So this is me still being lenient to your ass. You have until the end of the week to get your stuff and find somewhere to go. I have 30 days to get out of your house. And if I get touched by one of your sons during those 30 days, my lawyer is going to have a field day. Now I'm going to go upstairs to my room and I will take your house off of Airbnb. And Versace, if you want that website, just let me know. Fuck. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Savan, go beat him up. I'm too cute to go to jail. Mama, I promise you, ain't nobody going to find the body. Let me handle it. Stop. I got this. Let mama handle it. I know exactly what I'm going to do. All right, boys, I got y'all's report cards. Um, who's first? Brian. All A's as expected. Let's read some of the teacher's comments. Mrs. Jackson, you are raising one intelligent human being. Brian is smart, brilliant, and his future looks promising. I don't have any students who have a four-year scholarship to Harvard in my class, so I am honored to have Brian in my class. You know, I have always been proud to be your mama. Auntie, I think it should be getting my report cards now. I did switch over to my guardian. Let's see. Yep, Genesis. Here we go. All A's and one B. Mm -mm, how disappointing. Genesis, this class you have a B in. Talk to me about it. It's a college class. They only offer it to students who've passed their stellar exam during their sophomore year in high school. I believe Brian took the same exam, but what were your test results again? It's a college class. Me and 10 other students didn't pass. It was an exam, not a class. And how unfortunate that you failed that exam. I passed for flying colors though. Aunt Tamika, that is a very challenging class. To have anything under a C could get you removed. So for me to have a B in that type of class, the same type of class that they offer at schools like Harvard, is amazing. Would you mind reading my teacher's comments, Aunt Tamika? Mrs. Jackson, 
Genesis is a very well-educated student of mine who I highly recommend it to five major colleges due to his extremely high test scores in my class. Most students who take my class average a C or C minus. Genesis has maintained a B for the past semester, making his score the highest in my class. He is definitely going places. Hey, that's my nephew. I could have passed that class. And yet you did not. I still have a four-year scholarship to a college that doesn't even know you exist. And yet all my teachers recommended me to not just Harvard, but four other top colleges in the United States. Mm, great. Did you get a phone call back? Did you get a letter in the mail? Is it official? I have not yet, but I will. This conversation has expired. Mom, can you read my little brother's report card? Boys, you both are doing great in school. Keep up the good work. All right, Kyrie. There are no scores. It, there's a comment though. It says, Mrs. Jackson, Kyrie's scores were so low that I was embarrassed to email them to you. Please stop by my office so we can further discuss. Kyrie, what the fuck is the issue? Why, why are you cussing at me? School is not for me. I want to drop out. So damn bad. What do you need from me as a mother to get you back on track? Because 20 parent-teacher conferences in one damn year is insane. So withdraw me. You don't like seeing these teachers? Neither do I. Where did I go wrong with you? Find out where grandma went wrong with you, and then you'll find out where you went wrong with me. You know what it is? I don't beat your ass enough. That's what it is. You want to be like your older brother? You want to be a high school dropout? One kid, no job, no pot to piss in? Yes, mama, I want to be just like Siobhan. How about you homeschool me? I'm tired, mama. I don't want to be in school. I hate everyone there. You are not there for everybody, Kyrie. You are there to get your damn high school diploma. We have got to figure something out because I am tired. That is enough. You are in your sophomore year in high school and you have not progressed. Remove me from school. That is out of the question. Well, then you're going to continue to stress about my performance in school because it's about to get worse. Jesus, I know I have not lost control of my child. No, uh-uh. Mm-mm. I'll tell you what. When Travis gets home, me and him are going to discuss what we're going to do with you because that is enough. Ma, Travis is a damn kid himself. You're old enough to be his mama. So don't be going to talk to one of your other kids about me. Mama, how long is Genesis staying with us? Brian, I am actually in the process of becoming Genesis's legal guardian, so he will be here for a while. I need to make a phone call. Is there a problem? Is it? I'm asking you. Just stay the fuck out of my way or you'll end up like the last cousin that stayed here. Brian, I know you're used to thinking you're the smartest grandchild out of all of us. That must have been hard for you to admit. While I'm in your house, I'm going to make sure I humble you every chance I get. Spell humble. How about you look deep within yourself and find it first before you ask somebody how to spell it? You know what I can find deep down inside me? My parents, who are very much still alive and breathing. And that was just a small taste of how disrespectful I can get. So during the duration of your stay, watch your fucking mouth. And don't you ever try to compete with me in front of my mom. Kyrie, get your shit together. Mind your motherfucking business.
So there was an altercation between the two of you that apparently... Vanessa, who exactly told you that you were in charge of this conversation in my house? Does it matter who opens the discussion, Samika? I invited you and your daughter into my home to discuss this matter between her and Savon. So let's discuss. I am not ready to speak yet. I am still collecting my thoughts. So shut up. Girl, not you still holding on to that little tussle we got into three years ago. Little tussle. Beloved. I injured you. You went to the ER for that neck. That neck that still looks stiff today. Okay. How about you let bygones be bygones? Do I look like I'm the type of bitch to let a by be gone? Ma, y'all forgetting why we're here. You know what? I was trying to come here and not automatically point the finger. But since you want to be ignorant, you want to tell me why your son put his hands on my daughter? Miss Vanessa, that's not what happened. That is how it happened, Savon. How did I end up from one side of the room to the other? How did I end up with a busted lip? I need to know why it happened, Savon. No, what I need to know is why from the both of you. What started this? Go ahead and tell them. It doesn't matter what started it. Savon, you put your hands on my daughter. Your daughter put her hands on my son. She was defending herself. He was defending himself. Versace, did he hit you first? Yes, he did. No, I didn't. She knocked my phone out of my hand and then she choked me, Mama. I wouldn't lie to you. Mama, I wouldn't lie to you. He hit me, so I hit him back. Describe how he hits you and how it made you fly across the room. You know what? I do not like the way you are questioning my daughter right now, Tanika. Oh, I don't give a fuck. How did he make you fly across the room, Versace? By him hitting me. No man should hit a woman, Tamika. No woman should hit a man. Except he hit me first. No, I didn't. I wouldn't give you my phone. And what was on the phone, Savon? None of your business. Who swung first? She did. He did. Savon, my daughter would not lie to me. Vanessa, you finna piss me off. Versace has staked pregnancies, DNA tests, and eyelashes. Okay, and your son is no damn better. He ain't the worst either. You know what? How could you as a black woman stand there with a black son and tell me and my black daughter that her assault does not matter? Oh, I ain't trying to hear all that black shit. This ain't no BET movie, bitch. Start from the beginning, Versace. He was on his phone texting, and I knew it was another bitch, so I asked for his phone. Okay. Savon, what did you do when she asked for your phone? I ignored her. Oh. And that must have pissed you off, Versace, because how dare he? Right, because I knew he heard me the first time when I asked. So, uh, what happened next? I asked for it again, and he got mad. And then what did he do? He put his hands on me. You lying bitch. Savon, you better watch your damn mouth. Vanessa, I will eat you up right now. Well, bon appetit, bitch. Mom. Mom. Versace press charges. I'm good. Um, I think Savon learned his lesson. Hmm, very safe decision, Versace. Press charges, Savon. I'm, I'm actually good, Mama. Okay. <sighs> I'm leaving. So y'all want to fuck each other up, make it everybody else's problem, and then get back together? It's very much toxic behavior and I don't have time for it. Get it the fuck away from me. Shit and me. You wanna grab a drink? I guess not. He give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Janice, he is cheating on you. 
He give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? So you're the only one around here who can have a man? This ain't got nothing to do with my man. He give you good life? He give you good dick? Why would you leave? Why would you leave? Mama, Travis gotta go. Mama, that man didn't pick me up from school all week. I had to walk home. So why didn't you take the bus? That man did say you would say that. Mama, he called me a bum. Hmm. He told me he was gonna send me to a gay conversion camp. He gave me good life. Now that is where I draw the line. Travis. Yes, my queen. Brian just told me that you told him that you were going to send him to a gay conversion camp. What, would I leave? I did. What makes you think you can send my child anywhere? The thing is, baby, I was just choking. Brian was cussing me out because I told him to do his homework. As a matter of fact, all three of them are cussing me out. They were cussing you out. But I handled it. I handled it. I took care of it. So you don't have to do anything else. Do not joke about my son's sexuality ever again. I gotcha. Now, boys, I know that y'all are not used to a man being in a house, especially one that tells y'all what to do. No, which is why he gotta go. Well, he is not going anywhere anytime soon. I actually enjoy Travis, and this is my house. And I want him in my house. I have catered to everybody my entire life and have got nothing in return. It is time for me to do what makes me happy. And Travis makes me happy. Ma, this man is trying to force me to get a job. Savan, what is wrong with you having a job? You have a child. Do you expect me to pay child support for your son until he is 18? Yes, you're the grandmother. That's what you're supposed to do. Stupid. Stupid. You are. You better go to those interviews that he's scheduled or else. Or else what, mama? Or else I'll have my man escort you out of my house. And mama don't want to, but I will. I'm tired of taking care of you, Savon. Brian, your issue was that he tried to get you to do your homework, something that you are supposed to do. I'm not addressing that. Do you have any other questions, comments, or concerns? No. Okay. Kerry. Man, look, I ain't walking home from school. Then get on the damn bus or ride a bicycle. Did you have any other issues with Travis? Yes. That's too damn bad. Travis is here to stay. And y'all need to learn how to coexist with him. He give me good life. Get out of my house, Janice. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? All right, baby, my mama's on the way over here. Travis, are you sure it's not too soon to be meeting your mom? I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily have a, a good track history from, you know, meeting moms. Oh, baby, it'll be fine. Yeah, but did you tell your mom about our age difference? No, I didn't tell her anything because I wanted her to meet you and form her own judgment. See? No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because if she does decide to judge, then I'm going to decide to react. And it won't be good for either one of us. Oh, baby, my mama would love you to show her that you're a respectful woman and you're polite. I'm not any of that. I need you to be that today because that's what I told her you were.
Mom, this is my girlfriend, Tamika. Tamika, this is my mom, Ida. <clears throat> it's, it's nice to meet you. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about you. Oh, you're such a nervous little thing. It's okay. Calm down, honey. When did you meet my son? Oh, we, we met two months ago. Uh, two months ago, and he's already living with you and paying all the bills? By choice, he is. I, I didn't ask him to do that. This is a very large house for just two people. Do you have any children? I do. I, I have three. Three? Three. Oh, Travis, you missed that major detail. I didn't think it was that important. How old are these children? Oh, they, they grown, mama. Define grown, and exactly how old is your girlfriend, Travis? The boys are 19, 17, and uh, 16. Oh, that's interesting. How old are you, Tamale? Who's Tamale? Oh, is that not your name? It's Tamika. What did I say? You said Tamale. Then that's what it is. How old are you? I'm 40. 40? Travis, what are you doing with this older woman? You do know my son is 35 years young with no children. Older woman? He has no business being with you. Do your children have the same father or different dads? I was married to their father. You were married. What happened? Mom, with all due respect, that's none of your business. That's personal. Oh, it's fine, Travis. It's fine. <laughs> he cheated on me and decided to unmarry me and marry her. Well, what did you do wrong? You clearly did something wrong for him to cheat on you. Mom, I need you to stop being disrespectful right now. Fine. How are your sons adjusting to my son? They're adjusting. You know what, that, that's great, that's great. Travis, he likes fixing things. You know, he I've seen him fix several women that were older than him, such as yourself. You know, women that were broken. Broken? Am I broken, Travis? I never said that. Ma, I never said that. You didn't have to. She's 40, divorced with three kids. I mean, it's a perfect project for you, Pro Travis. Project. Ma, that is not true. He will fix you, build you up, whatever you want to call it, and then he'll move on to the next broken woman for his project. Oh, Travis, don't spare her feelings. She can handle it. I mean, she's mature. And old enough to handle it. <laughs> Let me tell you something, bitch. Well, wait a minute now. Don't call me a bitch. Bitch! Your son does 360s and my coochie. That is one of the reasons I allow him to stay here. Oh, does he? Your son has spent a great amount of money on me and my three kids. Another reason I allow him to stay here. Oh, has he? So I ain't nobody's fucking project. I met him at Walmart and he was flirting hard. And you know what? A bitch can get lonely at times. So I decided, I decided to let him entertain me. Is that so? It is. So when I get tired of looking at him, then he can move on to another woman. But he will only move on if I say so. Now, did you have any other questions for me, Idaho? I'm sorry, who is Idaho? Is that not your name? No, it's Ida. Well, what did I say? You said Idaho. Then that's what it is.
Travis, as you are escorting your mother out of my house, Please let her know that I wasn't as disrespectful as I could have been. And I want her to appreciate that. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to enjoy watching my son leave you in pieces. I'm the type of bitch that does not like to ask twice for somebody to leave my house. Travis? Come on, Ma. It was nice meeting you.